Well, Joe, it's been a long and distinguished career in the service of Irish tourism. When did it all start out? Well, it's not today or yesterday, I mean, it's actually 42 years ago this month, believe it or not. Wow. When I started with Port Falcha. So, 30 great years with Port Falcha and then 12 great years with Tourism Ireland. That's fantastic. And you moved around quite a bit in your long career. Tell us where you've been. Yeah, I, I actually spent uh, half of those 42 years living outside of Ireland. And I had a, a, a lot of hardship postings. They sent me to New York, not once but twice. Uh, they sent me to Paris, not <laughs> once or twice but three times. And uh, <laughs> 20 years I spent in Dublin, in uh, Baggett Street and in Bishop Square. So Paris, Dublin and New York, absolutely fabulous cities. And if anybody was to ask me which is my favourite one... I was going I, to ask you that. I honestly wouldn't be able to answer. I, I enjoyed everything about them all. But it's different when you work for a company like Tourism Ireland or, or, or before that with Board Fawlty in that, uh, you know, you, you haven't lost contact with home. You're, you're not an immigrant in the, in the sense that others are. That's true. Uh, whether they're voluntary or whether they're forced to go here. Yeah. Uh, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, you're in touch with home, yeah. and the, the work that you do is intimately linked with yeah. what's happening back at home. Yeah. And of course, you went through that transition with Tourism Ireland when it was formed. You moved with Tourism Ireland at that stage to New York, wasn't it? Uh, I did, yeah. yeah. I had actually worked in New York with uh, Board Board Fulcher, Fulcher, yeah. for five years, and I was then hauled back, and I was uh, part of that very small team that were yeah. handed a welder, and we were asked to weld together the, uh, the, the, the parts of the old board Falcha and the old Northern Ireland Tourist Board yeah. and uh, add some people from the real world to yeah. form uh, Tourism Ireland. But what a great what a great development for tourism on the island of Ireland that was. Oh indeed, yeah. And you're a very positive person, Joe, but tell us about the things that used to get you down or did anything ever get you down? Uh, I would have to say that uh, we had some really big challenges that faced Irish tourism along the way. You know, everything from postal strikes and petrol strikes yeah. and foot and mouth disease and disasters like 9-11 or SARS, all of them yeah. set back tourism. Yeah. But I, I, I'm delighted to say that uh, wh whatever is in me and whatever is in the people that I've worked with, yeah. we always said, okay, we can make this situation better. Yeah. We weren't necessarily going to have growth in the previous year, yeah. but we were going to try to do everything that we could to make it better than it would otherwise be. So yeah. nothing got me down in that sense. There was yeah. never a moment when I or the team in Board sure. Falcher and Tourism Ireland said, there's nothing we can do about this. We might yeah. as well throw our hat at it. Yeah. There was always something that you could do working with our industry partners yeah. to make it better than it would otherwise be. And of course that positivity works because I remember well when you were saying out here just a short while ago, in 2011, I think you were projecting solid growth from North America and we all, dutifully said that's great news Joe but none of us believed you but you were the first to, out, out of the traps to say that recovery was underway. Yeah well the, 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 to be honest when you when you work in a business like tourism there's no point in first of all there's no point in pretending that things are better than they are you sure, know what I mean sure. but there certainly is no point in talking things down yeah. and I, I do believe that the the power of positive thinking to use the jargon yeah. uh, in our business uh, is is infectious you know Absolutely, that you can yeah. you can actually uh, pull people yeah. on board you can yeah. urge people to yeah. uh, take a chance yeah. where they might not otherwise do so sure. and I, sure. with my team and and indeed with the industry I regard it as a uh, part of my responsibility yeah. uh, to try to show people and to to demonstrate in terms of what we did that yeah. we could make it better than it was otherwise be yeah. and I got a few of them right uh, that was one when I got yeah. right, when I sort of Absolutely. said, yeah, there is a recovery around the corner and uh, yeah. if, if, if we put more money into the market and if we put more brains into the market sure. and if we put a bit more passion yeah. into what we're saying, yeah. then we can achieve a better result. Yeah. I think what has been most satisfying in that respect, Eamon, is that uh, whenever we were faced with a crisis yeah. or whenever we were enjoying good times, our crisis was never as bad as it was for many of our competitor countries. Yeah, that's and true. When the good times were there, the, 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 the times were even better for us than they were for, for our competitor countries. Yeah. And that has to do with this thing of saying, we can make it better than it will otherwise yeah. be. Yeah. Great. And tell us, 42 years is a long time in the same industry, and what were the big game-changing events that happened uh, over that long career, Joe? Well, I, I, it, it, it's probably fairly easy to, 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 to name the events that change things, either for better or for worse. But uh, in a funny way, I would say, what is more remarkable is what has stayed the same. Yeah. And uh, the, the only reason that people will go to the island of Ireland or to anywhere else uh, uh, on vacation is to have fun. Yeah. And if 
we ever forget that, then we're cutting ourselves. You know, we can be as sharp as sure. we as, as we like to be in terms of our segmentation. Yeah. Uh, we can be as as refined as as we can be, or as efficient as we can be uh, in relation to the media that we use yeah. to actually attract people. But ultimately, it is about trying to give the best message to the the best prospects in the most efficient way. Yeah. And what Ireland has going for it, and what it's why the Irish tourism product is in such good shape at the moment, is that. It's more than a business, and the people in the industry in Ireland uh, have always recognised that if you can send visitors home saying, we had an absolutely fantastic time there, and if they tell their friends about it, that's the secret. It works for itself. Yeah, yeah. So th that was the case when I started 42 years ago, and it's the case this year, and it'll be the case next year, and it'll be the case in 42 years from now. Great. But some of the other things, that some of the, 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 the big things that happened to to, to change our industry. I suppose uh, airline access is, is mm. so intimately linked sure. uh, with the island of Ireland that you know it, unless you have developments and access it's very hard to yeah. attract more tourists. Yeah. We had great uh, uh, progress on the, with the sea ferries as well with the introduction of the, the high speed ferries you know yeah. again yeah, yeah. revolutionized sure. that particular sure. uh, sector. So that bit of yeah. the infrastructure is sure. intimately linked with yeah. the fortunes and that's that's why we in Tourism Ireland and before that in, in Board Fulcher, uh, set up such great partnerships with carriers sure. uh, who were progressive, who yeah. were in the business of, of, of adding more lift uh, I yeah. into Ireland and making it easier and less expensive for people yeah. to come there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the other uh, thing that has revolutionised the, the way that we communicate with people and the way that people get their information is of course the web. Yeah. Uh, you know, they, 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 it, it's, it's not that long ago, it's, it's, it's uh, actually less than 20 years ago That's right. when I chaired a group that asked the question, uh, should uh, Board Falls, you have a website. You know what I mean? It's I, hope almost, you, I hope you came up, up with the uh, right answer. <laughs> it's, it's almost laughable now, but yeah. you know that has transformed the way that that that, sure. that, 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 that we do a business. But what, what that hasn't changed is that it is a people business. Yeah. And even though so many people get their information uh, via the internet, which is a, a, a little bit depersonalized, yeah. the distribution channels that mm. Ireland has developed through tour operators, through carriers, mm. through travel agencies, through incentive houses, they're second to none. Yeah. Where Ireland would be way ahead yeah. of competitor destinations. And yeah. that's built on loyalty, sure. it's built on respect, it's built on, on, on decency in terms yeah. of working arrangements. Yeah, 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 so yeah. many of the things have changed, but the fundamentals have remained the same. Sure. And there also was a huge injection of uh, funds in uh, in the late 80s, early 90s, yeah. uh, which transformed the tourism product, product on the island yeah. of Ireland. Yeah. That was the, yeah. the European Regional Development Funds. And yeah. boy, did Ireland use those well. Sure. You know, they could sure. have been frittered yeah. away, but yeah. there was a strategic look at what Ireland needed, yeah. what was going to take us to the next level. Yeah. And I would say that of all of the transformations, yeah. that was the one that has really catapulted sure. the product into the great depth that it is yeah. now. On an organisational point of view, uh, Port Fulcher went through uh, several uh, iterations during yeah. my time there and the one that you already referred to, that yeah. is the creation of, of uh, Tourism Ireland, yeah. was a major step forward. Yeah. Uh, visitors were already visiting more parts of the island of Ireland. They felt it was a nonsense to be trying to sell sure. the north and south sure. uh, separately, separately and they were dead right. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. when tourism was seen as an area of cooperation as part of the, yeah. the Belfast Good Friday Agreement yeah. and Tourism Ar Ireland was created, uh, it was a pleasure and a privilege to yeah. be part of the team yeah. that helped to make that company the success yeah. that it yeah. now is. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, somehow, Joe, I can't see you retiring in the normally understood meaning of that word. There's just too much valuable knowledge in that old head that needs to be shared around still. Any any part-time work plans or any type of work plans uh, for the future? Or is, yeah, uh, is uh, it really uh, retirement? Uh, no, 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 no it's, it's not really retirement, but uh, we do have uh, two children and, and, and each of them have uh, uh, three children of their own. So we have six lovely grandchildren. Yeah. Uh, three of them live here in the United States yeah. and three of them live in, in Donegal. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So yeah. we will be spending more of our time yeah. enjoying ourselves by enjoying them. Uh, oh, but I certainly do plan to, uh, to, to, to keep the old grey matter uh, ticking, ticking over, over. and, and uh, to uh, sharing any expertise that I've picked up or any right. knowledge that I've picked up uh, right. with anybody who's willing to pay for it. Great. Well, Joe, it's been a stellar career. Thanks for all your great work for Irish tourism. Enjoy loads of time with those lovely grandchildren and keep in touch with the industry.